On this episode, we are changing sprockets and chain O2 Suzuki SV650. So first we're going to bust the axle loose. It's a 22 on this side, a 17 on this side. If you're doing this and you want to keep everything stock, this is a 525 chain. It says so on the sprocket, 525. But we're going to upgrade this or redo this and change everything over to 520. 520 is a smaller chain, it's lighter. This bike does not make enough horsepower to require 525. So, 520 will be fine. Two ways to get this chain off. There's the using a chain breaker method. Or you could cut it with a wheel of death. So, I don't want to use a wheel of death. We're just going to use a chain breaker. These are available everywhere. If you're doing your own motorcycle maintenance, I highly recommend getting one. There's a shop full of bikes, so I've used this thing a couple times this week already. It comes with different size pins for different size chains. 420 up to 530, basically. You just have to put it together. So this goes in here, there's a hole here. This is gonna push that pin out of that chain so we can take it apart. The new chain has a master link with a clip so we won't need it. I know some of y'all don't like running clips on Master Links, but it's fine. If MotoGP can do it, we can do it. So we just line this thing up. Ah, come on. Get it set, and then we get to turn it. You might hear some clicking, which is the end of the chain pin. And then this is going to come apart. So now you can just pull the chain off. So this thing is at the end of its useful limits. You can see the rollers in there. They're kind of wobbly. And it's got loose spots and tight spots, and so you can't get it to tighten correctly. Front sprocket's right here. We need to move this clutch assembly out of the way. And we'll just dangle it out of the way. You can pull this rod out and clean it off. Does it get your chain grease all over it? So what we want to do now is put the bike in gear. There's a tab on here on the inside of this thing that you'll need to bend down. But I 
I did that last week. And then this big nut on here is a 32 millimeter. So I picked that up at your local parts house, Harbor Freight, wherever. And then an impact wrench is the easiest way. And then it just pops off. And then you can pull out the sprocket. Don't forget your little safety washer because we're going to bend this tab back over when we're done. So you can see this is a little bit moved forward. A little rubbed on the inside. That's because that chain was old. This bike's got like 20,000 on it. So I'm sure this is all original stuff. So you can sort of see the difference there with the way those teeth are rounded off, bent forward a little bit. So like I said, we're switching to a 520. So we ordered the JTF 520i 15RB. Uh, it's 15 tooth, same as this one. Some guys like to go up or down or whatever. We're just gonna keep it like it is. Lock washer tab, slides on, and then your big ass nut. Hold on, I'm gonna clean this real fast. So, that's better. The nut is locking type, so, I mean, the, the little tab is insurance. But I've never had one fall. So, new sprocket on. Let me bend that tab. I like to go back where it was. Put your clutch rod back in. Are you talking to me or thinking out loud? I'm talking to the camera. Huh? Make money, pay bills. Buy bike parts for motorcycles. I have to shit can this old 525. I'll show you in a minute. It says 45 by 525 right on here. So if you're just doing a chain, all you need is the 525 chain. The new sprocket is a Vortex Steel 528AS45. Cause I'll have to, cause I have to be able to move it around, cause it's in my way and it's got a fucking fifty-five gallon. No, the lock gallon. means that I'm taking it to my house, senior. Fifty-five gallon of, drum of bike club exhaust pipe in the way. <laughs> Look like one of them fucking kids up at high school with a goddamn diesel truck.
So here's the new chain. 110 links is what was stock. So this should fit. It comes covered in grease. So some WD-40 and a rag. It's a 525 roller. Not, God damn it. Not a 520. Fucking assholes. Don't even know your own labels. Well, then we just switch out the rear sprocket, put this on the front, and run this, this chain. chisel around here. We got shit. Second verse, same as the first. So now we have 525 front sprocket. Because the fucking thing was mislabeled and it says 520, but it's not. So the rear sprocket, we went back to 525, cleaned it up. And fortunately, we had a 525 chain laying around. Because, you know, who doesn't have an extra chain or two? We're going to go this way. I like the way this side looks. Yeah. So again, 110 links. Now we're back to standard Suzuki tech. Get it into the next groove and boom, Bob's your uncle. Damn. Now we're lined up. So, 
put your O-rings on, and then they supply with grease. Just put the grease on there. And then this is going to slide in here. So this has got O-rings on it, and then the grease helps hold your O-rings on. And then you have your cover plate. So cover plate's gonna sit on here. Like that. And then we have to press it. <clears throat> Must be pressed on. Same tool we used before. Different setup. So this piece is for pressing that new part on. So get it set. Move your handle. And then once we get it tight, I need a 22 millimeter here. Try not to knock everything off. We got our little pieces sticking through. Chains on. That sounds good. No more raggedy ass. Yeah. No more raggedy ass uh, chainsaw chain. Yeah. Five twenty, mislabeled front sprocket. <clears throat> well, that's not good. You know. Well, I got a full tank of gas. Now we have to align and tighten rear tire. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four and a half. One, two, three, four, five and a half. This one tick. I need my try Y. Okay. It's over there on the bench. <clears throat>
decent size. I'm loosening the chain so I can get my tension right here. Yeah. And then we'll center this rear axle. Okay. Because it's got to be straight to yeah. drive the chain straight. So it's kind of cattywampus a little bit this way right now. So I'm going to go in here. That's pretty good. Too bad all the tools you need can't fit in the fucking bike. <laughs> Just pride down there. I was perusing things on uh, Revzilla today, and they had a, all these tool kits. I thought I just Quarter. need a tool bag, right? I just need a tool bag, and I'll go buy the good shit instead of Quarter. trying. To, and uh, I saw a Harley tool kit, and I was like, "There's not enough tools in there for a Harley." I like that one. Oh, we all have stainless exhaust. you'll work on those signs. I have no idea. Never done them before. 3810. I'm gonna say that's fucking good enough. 30 thousandths? Yeah, I think you're good. I think 30 thousandths will be alright for. The thing is, by now, like what happens is, is when you tighten it up, everything fucking changes. dollar torque wrench you're never going to be able to use yeah, so we're right there Woo! hand tight perfect that's perfect so now we just have to 
Pin it. Clutch assembly out of the way. So it's just some tens. It's not a ten. That's a nine. It's a ten. Don't look. Oh, look at that. It hit the floor and went into the wormhole of ten millimeter sockets.